Okay, so here's the next step in learning Premier Pro CC 2014. Let's do a title. Let's say perhaps that we want to say Tony's uh, Day in the World or whatever. Like I don't know, something stupid like that. I'm going to close some of this up just to make it neat where I can see it. I'm going to click in here. We can Once again, we can put these titles anywhere. If you want to start a folder, a bin with called titles, you can do that. Typically, I'll just go here, right-click. I'll say New Title. Okay? So let's say I'm going to say Tony's Fun Day. It really doesn't matter what you title this right now. It can be anything you want it to be. Where you actually put what you're going to say on it is this coming up right here in a second. We'll click OK. So we've done a 1920 by 1080 title. I should have pointed that out, but there you go. We still got the title. And let's say I want to say Tony's Fun Day somewhere on here. I'm going to, I'm going to left click and pull this open here. And we're going to type in T-O-N-Y Tony's Fun Day. And right now this looks very plain, doesn't it? Well, it came up with by default here, this actor font is what this is called. So I can pick the font that I want. Let's say I want Myriad Pro. I've gone over here, highlight this, and I type M-Y-R. I like Myriad Pro. Myriad Pro is kind of a good font. I'm going to go to maybe Bold. And here we go. I've got Tony's Fun Day. And let's say, uh, well, you know, where, where do you want to put this, Tony? You can put it anywhere you darn well like. You can go down here in this bottom if you like to do that. You could put it in the center. If you wanted to center it, for instance, you go up here and you have the little, just a whole lot of these are exactly like you use in word processing or anything. There's your center. Well, Tony, it's not got really good uh, contrast there. Let's put a drop shadow behind it. You got drop shadow and you can tell it to be like maybe, I don't know, 80% drop shadow opacity. So you can control your opacity. You can control your size of your drop shadow. See how that's getting bigger, the drop shadow there. These lines, you can ignore these. These are called title safe lines. It used to be a bigger deal back in old days when you had uh, computer, when you were working mostly on television screens instead of computer screens. Most of the video we do today can, can display almost out to the edge with your high definition televisions. Back in the old days, you could pull your title to a point where it wouldn't show up on the screen. Not so much a big deal now, but still might be a big deal if you're using an old school type television or old kind of screen. So, you know, you can, if you, if you want Tony's Fun Day to be a different color, you can, uh, I'll go back up here and I clicked on the T, right? And sometimes you can get off that. If, you, if you're clicking on the pointer, then you're going to end up just pulling it, you're going to be able to pull it around. It's a selection tool is what that is. I call it the pointer. You can click on this one, though, if you want to highlight the text. And I tried to triple click, but it won't do it. You have to actually click and drag over it. And let's say I want to change the color. I can actually go here and I can change the color to something I might like better. I don't know. Maybe I pick some sort of light green or something. I say, okay. So now you can see that the text, if I click off here, is light green. How did I click off of it? I clicked up on the pointer and just clicked anywhere else on the screen. Now, let's say that you don't like any of this. But, you know, this I kind of like. I mean, you know, this is the kind of thing I try to do. I try to do something that's not really fancy. But let's say, you know, this drop shadow isn't quite catching it. I'd like to draw me a, a uh, some kind of like a lower third here. So what's happened, it's putting the drop shadow on this lower third. I just pulled the box in. It's defaulted to the green that I have here. Let's say I turn this, uh, maybe I make this shadow much less in size. Let's make this shadow just tiny. And instead of uh, opacity of 87%, maybe I make it 40%. And so now I've got a, uh, a like, sort of like a little lower third box that I can put text inside. Well, right now my text is behind this box. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the box. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say, uh, see, position, no, 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 what do I do here? Transform, arrange. I'm going to go to arrange. I'm going to say send to back. So now it's behind that. Now I might decide I don't even need uh, the drop shadow on this. Maybe I just need to my, me for my text to be black. So I could make my text now something much different, much darker here. I could select that, and I could pull... Uh, my fun day over here. Now I don't even need the drop shadow, do I? I'll go over here and click the drop shadow and turn it off, and there's Tony's fun day on that. So there's different ways. You can, you can, you can add all kinds of, you can pull Illustrator files in here that have gradients in them, Photoshop files. I'm going to delete that box for a second. I'm going to go back to Tony's fun day. I mean, here's another option you've got if you want to do this. It's all these little templates, these style templates down here. Say you see one that floats your boat like that. Well, that looks like fun, doesn't it? There's all kinds of these little uh, templates down here. You might decide you even want to use something like this. 
And what's cool about some of these templates, if you find one you like, you just don't like that font, you can use that very layout, but you can go over here and you can still type in Myriad Pro, if you like Myriad Pro, and you can go to bold, and you've adopted that style. And now I've got a new style, new color, and of course if I click on no and I'm gonna lose the font again. But I just wanted you to see that this can be done. Tony's fun day. So there's all kinds of crazy ways you can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. That's not so great, but let's leave it anyway. I'm gonna hit Control S to save. You don't have to hit save to do this, but right now we've just built a title. And I, I usually save when I do my titles. It's just my habit. Now I'm gonna pull this title down here. Right now, right now it's not even on there until I tell it where I want it to go. So let's say I want to come in just about a second after this. I want to, uh, it, it to dissolve in as well. I'm gonna uh, right click again to apply default transition. Apply default transition, and now I've got a title on here. We go. Let's say I want this to even fade in at the beginning, right? So I could go to the very beginning here. I can say apply default transition to this video. Now I start from black and I fade in. And there's my Tony's Fun Day. Then it goes away. So if you want this to be longer, you want Tony's Fun Day to stay on here for a while, you can drag it longer, see? And that just changes the amount of time that's on the screen.